Hi you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you again today with another cooking video. I just got in from the library and I made sure I uploaded a few videos for you guys. I do have some more um, actually to upload that was continuations of the videos I did. For some reason they wouldn't upload and daddy was in the car so um, I'll just get him to go in with me and, and upload the rest. Um, we'll probably do that at the same time you're seeing these so make sure you tune in for that as well. Um, right now on the menu, we're going to have uh, homemade meatloaf with a tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese on top. We're going to also have uh, homemade, home-style uh, mashed potatoes. We're going to also have um, a vegetable. I have not decided which one yet. And we're going to have um, some honey butter biscuits as well. So... I hope you guys enjoyed that video, those videos, and let us begin. I've already taken the liberty while I was talking to uh, put a little butter, if you want to consider it a little bit, into my pan um, to put my biscuits on. And I like to use these grand um, flaky honey butter biscuits. If you have not tried them, I know you probably tried just the regular laid um layered biscuits for my grands or the butter ones, you will not ever use any other biscuits other than the honey butter ones. I actually got these um, from Daddy, and Daddy actually got them from, if you guys remember, in the Real Couples Talk, Darnell, um, which is Pootie's godfather and Chuck's best friend. Well, he told, well, he tried, he, he gave them the Chuck one day, a long, long time ago, many, many years before my time. And um, and then Chuck turned me on these. Trust me, you will not go back to another biscuit. So if you ladies haven't tried it, try it and let me know how you like them. Um, but from this fat girl to try another, <laughs> I'm telling you the truth, it's delish. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on my uh, cookie sheet just because I wanna be able to have these ready to pop in when the meal is done. We're not going to cook these yet because I want these to be warm, but at least I'll have them out of the way and I won't have to think of, think about it. Alright, so that's done, out of the way. Just have to pop it into the oven right before you serve. Three minutes, you already know how to fix, you know, biscuits that's already from the can, basically. Um, here's our potatoes and we're going to go ahead and start cutting them up, dicing them up, and then put them in, <coughs> put them in uh, to boil. Now, most people, some people take their skin off, some people leave it on. As for me, because daddy is very particular about mashed potatoes, because that's like this fade, I just go ahead and take it off. Even though it's a little time consuming, and um, you actually lose some of the vegetable, um, some of the nutrients by doing this. But I go ahead and do it. So, just showing you how you can do this quickly if you look. And these are not, you know, pretty potatoes because they kind of comes in the bag. I got a 10 pound bag for three dollars, and I bought two bags. Um, you can go back and see my market haul and how I actually got, I filled up my regular freezer and my deep freezer with $250 worth of money. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so, basically that's how you wanna cut it. Make sure you wash your potatoes before you do this, ladies. You just gonna go straight on around it. Now we're gonna slice them smaller than this because it is um, a time saver when you fix your potatoes and you dice them a little smaller. Because remember, you're going to mix them together. This is not something that's going to be real, real chunky because it's not potato salad, it's mashed potatoes. So you actually want to stir this and make it mushy in order to mash it, of course. So to save on time, again, we're going to cut it smaller. And you're just going to basically let your knife curve around the potato. And once 
we're doing this, like I said, we're going to dice it smaller. Then you're going to throw it into a pan, let it boil. You're going to let it boil as long as um, it needs to be. Basically, no time, you don't have to rush because you still have to fix your meatloaf and mix it all together with the seasonings and all that good stuff. So, you know, you have time. We still have pineapple upside down cake. If anybody wants anything sweet later on, that's up to them. But really don't need it because you got the biscuits. You really don't need all that dough or cake and all that. But just in case somebody does want something later on tonight, we still have that. Like I told you guys, it's better to just go ahead and fix a cake like once a week or once every four days, depending on how much your family eats rather than having to buy cookies and cakes individually, you can bake a cake for about $2 at max when it's on, on the ingredients is on sale. And then you have like several days worth of snacks for the kids and yourself. And just so you, and you can even break it down and individually wrap it, the slices. That's a great tip as far as if you want to watch your weight and you don't want to have you know, um, too much temptation. You can make them the slices as small as you like. You can also ration it out, not even just for weight reasons, you can ration it out for um, economic or financial reasons. All right, so now we're gonna dice these smaller. They could be as roughly chopped as you like because remember the smaller the better because they are going to be mashed and if they're smaller that's the quicker they, they cook once these come to a bowl you're going to take the excess water out you're going to add milk butter and sour cream now, if you go back to my Thanksgiving videos, I do show you how to put a twist on your mashed potatoes by using soft cheese. But you only have to do that when you want to or with a special occasion or whatever. As for today, we're just gonna have our regular um, potatoes with sour cream and chives. Chop, he got into that shower that I gave you. He has it all over his face. You better get it before he gets it on his eyes and stuff. You're going to put a little butter and some sour cream, but you're going to put some milk into this. Mash it up, stir it up, or use a mixer, whatever you like. Minutes we at now. All right. This is how your potatoes are going to look. I'm only fixing this amount because I really don't want to have any leftovers and I know our family, my family will eat this amount. So um, I'm just going to throw it into the pot and um, I'll be back in a second to show you guys how to fix the um, meatloaf and how to season it. And we're going to have a tomato and mozzarella cheese topping on top of that. All right. So you can just pan over and look at the biscuits or whatever for right now.
you do? Well, we know your hair is clean. <coughs> All right, ladies. I went ahead and put them into, put that down, get that to mommy. I'm sorry, you guys. One second, duty call. Put it down. Go ahead and play. Okay, stop, Pootie. Sure. Good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the ground beef that I had broken down and I had purchased in bulk. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to take that. And this will probably be something we'll have some leftovers for, which will be fine. Because I'm using two of the packs that I had broke down. Because it's meat, it's meat in that, you want to um, you want to throw that away, the sandwich bag. You don't want to reuse the sandwich bag that has meat in it. Now, for the sandwich bags that have like rice and pasta and stuff like that in it, you can reuse those. Okay? I'm going to put some seasons in there. Adobe. 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 <laughs> A little bit of Fenton Valley plant seasoning. That's one of my secrets. You can take down here. A little bit of garlic pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm going to preheat the oven as well. Yeah, by the way, then it reminded me, you want to preheat the oven on about 375. This is um, a new chili powder. I never knew, so I'm trying to open it. You also want to put some Parmesan cheese in it. And begin mixing. Now you could put an egg in here. I just ran out this morning. But for this amount you can use two eggs. Egg is basically for binding, but mine will still be bound. You will see. You want to mix this together. Meatloaf is something that you have to mix together basically with your hand, despite you not wanting to touch it. <laughs> you want to make sure you turn it over because you see how you have unmixed parts if you don't turn it over. Okay. Now, what I recommend, ladies, is you put a little bit of diced um, onion and green pepper. But as you know, my family do not really eat that, but that's how I would roll if it was just for me. So, 
I recommend, like I said, put a little bit of um, green pepper dice. You want to dice it small, you don't want huge chunks. And um, one whole onion, dice small. And one stalk of celery, dice small as well. As far as fillers, I don't use it for my meatloaf because I like my meatloaf to be all meat for the meatloaf, not meat filler. And that's the difference between home style meatloaf. So you can use a filler if you like. Um, some people old school um, use white bread and just mix it in the mist. Some people use cornflakes, chopped finely. Some people use breadcrumbs. As for me, I'm not gonna use any fillers. I have enough meat that I don't have to use any fillers. And I just like the thought of it being, I like the thought of it actually being meat. Now you wanna plop this, literally, plop. <laughs> You will pop this down into your dish. You don't need to grease this because the meat is going to expel wool on grease and it's going to have its own fat that you're probably going to have to drain off a little bit for presentation. I never serve my meatloaf in, like if I have guests in the dish that I'm fixing them because it is going to have like fat in it and all that kind of stuff. So you just want to have a separate platter. It's good to keep like some, um, like some romaine lettuce or something like that because you can always make things pretty if it's, you know, other, get other people coming and stuff by just placing it on a little platter or a little plate and just placing like parsley or something around it just for presentation. And you want to round this like a football. Okay. You want to make it compact though because you don't want a whole lot of cracks in it. So you're just going to basically massage that baby. <laughs> this is a great meal to allow all your frustrations. <laughs> okay. And what we're going to do Have our biscuits that we're going to pop in the oven, remember? You're going to add some tomato paste. And cheap tomato sauce. And in case I didn't tell you guys, which you already probably know because it's a given with me, this meal is a $10 and less meal that serves four to six people. The cheese was actually for four cups, which is a big pack, two to three dollars at Safeway. So I got like eight packs of it. Cheese, if you don't open it, actually lasts as long as people think. If you don't open it, that's the case. If you do open it, you want to put it in an air pipe um, container. All right. That's one of the things I want on income taxes. I want a vacuum seal. So I will be giving you reviews on that, you guys. Um, hopefully, maybe you can buy one too, and we could just, you know, because I want to do like like little uh, TV dinners. I want I want to vacuum seal TV dinners on the trays and everything that's already done. I thought that would be neat. That way, if anybody want a meal, they can <laughs> they can actually come and get a meal that's already prepared from scratch and everything. So, what time I'm at? Oh, nineteen forty. Alrighty, let me put this on here. You want to add your tomato sauce.
I'll date this on 375 until you see it's actually done, golden brown. Uh, because tomato paste has more uh, infused flavor because it's basically a reduction in uh, tomato sauce. Oh. So, where basically, basically it's like insurance. You want to make sure mm. the tomato sauce don't get them, the tomato paste will. Oh, okay. <laughs> what time are we at? Um, 21 exactly. I hope it's done. I don't know how, how long I'm allowed to oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you going to top this with your mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mozzarella. And you're going to bake it. All right, ladies. Love you all. I'll show you the end results once I'm done. Be blessed. Break the surprise.